The video today is how to lay out a round reducing offset. If you're interested, stay right here. There are a few ways of achieving a pattern for this type of offset. The first one obviously is a plasma cutting table. There's a few sorts of shortcut methods. There's the radial line method. And the method I'm choosing here is the triangulation method. So first of all, I drew a horizontal line. At this moment, because we want a one inch offset, I want to make sure my three inch circle is outside the five inch pipe by one inch. So there, take your 1.5 radius. Now that you've located your measurements, draw your circle. You now have a plan view of two circles one five inch and the other three. Now the goal here is to divide the three inch circle and the five inch circle into six equal spaces. So set your compass up to that same 1.5 radius and let's start dividing the three inch into six equal spaces. Set your compass up to that 2.5 radius. And let's do the same thing with the five inch circle. The radius equals 60 degrees, set your point on the 90, drop down to establish 30, 30, and 60 means you've divided your half circle into six equal spaces. Now it's a good practice to identify all these marks, either with letters or numbers. So I went with letters for the five inch circle and I'm gonna go with numbers for the three inch. So I'll put one, two, and so on until I reach seven. Every fitting is gonna need a seam and we just need to pick a location. And in this case, I'm gonna use G7 as the seam. And you'll see later on how it finishes up. So right now on your sheet, if you could draw a 90 degree angle close to your working view, this 90 degree angle will represent the height of the fitting, which is four inches. Then on the baseline, we need to take all of these element lines, like I am doing with A1, and bring it on to the baseline. Describe an arc and mark A1. Here I'm adding a step to make it easier to see every element line. Again, it's not necessary. It's basically a directional map 
uh, in case you step away from your drawing and you want to get back into it. So it's good practice to see where you're going with all of these lines. So I'm going to go from A1 to 1B to B2 and so on. You'll see later on. So now, as I said earlier, you have A1 scribed on your baseline. Now do the same thing for all the other lines. 1B. B2, two C, and that's the reason you can see I have directional arrowheads on my drawing also. So I just said we went to 2C, now we're going from C3. By the time you're done, you should have 13 different points on the baseline. I'll keep quiet now so you can finish up transferring those element lines to the baseline. Now the last one to transfer is G7, which is going to be the seam. Now we are ready to start our pattern, and I'm going to start at the letter A. So now if we look at our directional arrow, it looks like we want to find one. So go to the baseline where you locate, you added A1, and set your compass from A1 to the 4 inch tall or 4 inch high. You have now triangulated your line. That is point one. Now 
Now, to find point B and point C and so on, we need to set the dividers to 1 12th of the 5 inch circle for the bottom arc. So on the side of A, I'm striking 1 12th on each side. And I will do the same thing for the 3 inch. Set it up, set your compass to 1 12th of a 3 inch circumference. Strike an arc on both sides of the 1. Now we are going to go from 1 to B. Locate 1B over 4 inches. This becomes your true length. With your compass set, put the point on 1 and strike an arc. Where they intersect, you have now located B. Now we're going to try and finish B2. Set the compass at B2 with B as your point. Strike an arc upwards and you are now locating 2. And we are going to continue in this manner. 1 12th of a 5 inch circumference. One twelfth of a three inch circumference, and we are going to locate two C.
By this time, some of you may have noticed that in my plan view, I only divided the upper portion of the reducer. The bottom portion would be identical. And that is why the pattern I'm developing right now is symmetrical on both sides of that center line A1. And you should know when to stop when you have 12 equal spaces. Here, see, we've got G6. We're getting close to finishing. So G6 on the baseline over the height. Set your compass point on G or on 6, excuse me. Swing an arc. You have now found G. So now you are at the end, you are finishing up with the seam G7. So again, to make sure you've done it right and haven't forgotten a space, count the spaces on your drawing. There should be 12 equal spaces on the top and on the bottom. So now to connect the points, simply look at where you're going and the hand should follow. There, your pattern is done. I do hope you enjoyed watching the video, and I also hope that it will help you out moving forward in your learning. Anyways, if you enjoyed, it's always nice to have you subscribe Hit the like button or even leave me a comment.